What's up, what's up, what's up, my beautiful people, my viewers, my friends, my first time viewers, my subscribers, the new subscribers. Thanks to all of you, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I love you. Thank you for, you know, supporting the, ch the channel and allowing it to, to be growing. As the channel grow, we all grow. Thanks for the support. I appreciate it. And as I said before, the Philip Paulwell saga will not go away anytime soon. So let me answer the question of one of the comments in each of my, 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 my videos. I want to highlight one. One that says, um, a way you just come from, a way you just pop up and come from. Let me clear that. I don't pop up and come from anywhere. I've been on YouTube for a long while. I remember posting my first video. It was a, a gospel song. Didn't even have any idea of rules and regulation that govern YouTube. I just joined the channel and I would watch other people's videos and stuff like that. I, I, I wasn't because she was always watching, I see some of the, you know, and I, I, I think it, I, I didn't. But, more, over two years going now, I've been uploading stuff, but I still upload stuff with no real, if you understand what I mean, not, not even, not even know that if you, I didn't even know that if you had 4,000 watch hour, and, um, and a thousand views you will go into a plan called uh, the partner plan of the YouTube thing I didn't even know but it was brought to my attention and someone said to me why you don't do videos and upload them and I said all right I will start do and I didn't get no much nobody paid me no much mind I used to come in the morning and do my I love to do my devotions not much people pay you no mind. Sometimes when one or two people really pull into what they are saying, then they will come back. And then I start saying, you know what? You don't want to just put yourself into a circle of where you are clustered. And you cannot express your views and express. And you are going to be afraid of what people may say or do. And that is the reason why I like about keep ourselves in a little corner by ourselves we are afraid of, and because of the old element in our jamaican society you're afraid to talk and you go in public people may track you down and and it become no like the norm is now is that whenever you say anything or you are you a content and you violate and all of that somebody just get a contract man and them come and then just done you so people become fearful so we are living in a country where we become fearful so people are afraid to come publicly. Some may even come out and they may not show their faces because they don't want to be identified. If you understand what I mean. But that's not what I come here to talk about. What I come here to talk about is to divulge more deeper than what the mainstream media has in the media. And I'm going to like to listen to this report from one of our mainstream media. And then I'm going to go into some more details and let you know what really happened beyond the mainstream media release. Listen to this. Patterson Bradshaw also has a child with Paul Welling.
She reportedly contacted Miss Patterson on Facebook and said she, Leona Bradshaw, is Paul Wells' wife. She then advised Patterson that a DNA test is needed to confirm Saraya is her spouse's daughter. The very next day on September 6th, Bradshaw, who is a U.S. citizen, arrived in Jamaica and through her cousin contracted Roshane Miller and Richard Brown to fulfill the dastardly deed. She then allegedly met with these men at the Stony Hill home address where she was staying the night she arrived. The men also went to scope Miss Patterson's home the same night. These alleged criminals were reportedly paid $100,000 in the equivalent of U.S. dollars and were promised another $400,000 after the job is complete. The men returned to the Stony Hill address on Thursday, September 7, to allegedly further discuss the execution plan. On the morning of September 9, Bradshaw made several calls to Toshna Patterson's phone. Bradshaw arrived at Patterson's home shortly after 7 a.m. The prosecution says evidence shows Patterson leaving her home and entering an SUV parked at her gate. She remained in the vehicle for 15 minutes, then the vehicle drove away at 7.22 a.m. The prosecution believes Bradshaw brought the pair to Stony Hill in the vicinity of where she, Leona Bradshaw, was staying and delivered them to her co accused Richard Brown and, quote, other persons who are yet to be apprehended, end quote. The prosecution believes that the pair were then taken to hills in Kingston East on Friday, October 6. The police visited the crime scene and reportedly found other items of evidentiary value. That's the extent of the prosecution's voluntary indictment for Leona Bradshaw and her cousin Roland Balfour. Their legal team, which included Deborah Martin, Bert Samuels and Matthew Hyde, say more time is needed to prepare and present their case. Mrs. Justice Simone Wilfries ordered Bradshaw and Balfour to return to court on December 1, 2023. Until then, Martin has asked that any update in the case be communicated through the court and not through the media. She accuses the police of providing details to the public before the defendant's team is noted. So you hear what the mainstream media says. That they took them to the location of my... But that, not, that is not all of the story, my viewers. You see this one on the screen that I'm showing you? He is the one. Oh. Took the baby from the mother. Just imagine how at that moment, oh, she was feeling her baby was plucked from her. And that baby must be screaming, my viewers and subscribers. Must be crying while she was saying, save me, Lord, in her heart, knowing that that was the last moment. You know, you look, you look you're staring at it, helpless. But what made the story more intriguing is the mainstream media all say this. And I have learned how mainstream media operates. There was an incident in my community once and they came and when I listened to it on the, 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 the nightly news and something, it was far different from what I take my eyes and see far away from what I took my eyes and see because they want to make sure it is you know according to them to avoid lawsuit and to avoid all of this but this is something that happened why would anyone well they may be afraid to bring out this because you know them man there they call them the shutter you know the shutter them will come for you pluck the baby 
from her hand. And then this one is the one who done the matter. So Bradshaw told this one to done the baby. But he refused. This one refuses to done the baby. And she took the baby, my viewers and my subscribers. And I'm not going to, I'm going, I want you to just understand how I'm going to put it across. And that's why mainstream media won't do it. Because you have to remember that even in our talking, we have to be mindful also of the bereaved family. We have to be mindful of the bereaved family. So I'm going to try it for you to just read my lips to understand. That Bradshaw took the baby and was trying. Squeezing her heart. So you know what I mean when I say squeeze heart. But the baby was still. He told this one to use the weapon and he ran. When he ran off, Bradshaw aim in his direction and it misses him. So the story that was out circulating about one man go for the other man and the, you know the story that was out and the other man and all of that. It's not actually the whole sequence of events. Bradshaw. So when he ran, I realized now that him in a problem. He went straight to the police. Got him know how them things set up enough. Even the other tree that was there now, you know. Them are going to turn upon him too, you know. So that's how he ran. And go and tell the police. And let me tell you something, man. He lay out every detail to the police. And looking at the story, my viewers and my friends. Sometimes some of these young men, it's company they really follow, you know. Because for the mere fact that at least he may have some compassion and never, I think he never want to do it, you know. He never want to do it to the baby. Never want to do it. And I think maybe that's why he was driving more and he said that it misses him and God allow it to miss him. And he ran to the police. I wish some more out there where I do this thing would run to the police. When I look back in it, I say, where you do, man? Run to the police. And that's all. Bradshaw. The evidence is there overwhelming. Now when he when he took them enough, when he took them there. Because at the same time he run to the police, you know, let's get that clear, you know, you have to understand. They lick the bodies. And that's how in the police go, what they chrome through and all of that, that's what they used to do. DNA and the forensic evidence, uh, the DNA proof and the forensic evidence also prove that it is their remains. My viewers and my subscribers, my friends and first timers that will come to this channel. I reserve 
I think about it and I reserve it. I said, how must I put it across? Because I could, only if I reason with somebody, I would go into that, dive into the depths of the detail. But for the bereaved family, see, I'll, I'll use maturity and wisdom. They encounter a horrible friends, horrible at the hands of Bradshaw. Horrible. Seeing her coming out of court. See the clip of her coming out of court. Never want to come out of the court, you know. The police say, come. No one come out, put one mask up at top and one, no one nobody see her face. You're a evil. And a woman who came out and speak on your behalf, you're a evil. You're a evil. You're an evil woman. Not only that, you know now people search deep and all of that and see a post on Facebook that speak about how she was telling her mother so now the friend of the woman who came out to say she was her mother Bradshaw was encouraging them to do life insurance and she would to take out a life insurance and let she Bradshaw be the beneficiary But we could take the story and look at it more deeper to my, my viewers. Is this our first crime? Let me ask you again. In all what this woman how quick she could have get to execute it. It's like she know every line and every track of avenue how to get it done. Quick. Is it any case that if Mr. Paulwell could come out and one if me have any other intimate relationship with anybody else who have been missing that maybe we could have put some puzzle to it now it's left for him to decide and know if there's anybody else who missing because this woman looked like she was a ravenous soul. she know exactly who for call her cousin she know exactly for tell him who for got links so she have links not me and another first she know exactly what to do, who to talk to and who to do it. I'll show you some of the two of the persons involved in their happy times. Look at them. Looking pretty and dandy and shandy in their whites. You look at them. Look at them. So as I said in my previous video, at least the family can now feel a little better. Even though I listen to a clip of the neighbor was talking and she break down in crying. She really break down. I couldn't even hear what she was saying. But the family are trying to hold it together. Everybody is saying they're not coming out and saying anything. Let's have some little understanding. We don't want them to come out and say no. They don't have the strength. They don't have the... Just give them some time to see if they can take one day at a time. Mr. Paul will not doing well either. And I think we can start to give Mr. Paul a little break at this time. And until if anything. We have followed the whole sequence of events. He didn't really know this woman was coming to do it. I want to be I want to be fair. But he can't get away totally though, you know, because he is the cause. It's because of him cause all of this. So 
him name now go stop call. So whoever go come and say stop call up him name now, his name now go stop call for a very, very long time. He himself can't even come to terms with him own self. So my viewers and my subscriber, let us continue to just, you know, put the family. Whenever you pray, just say God, just cover them and continue to give them a strength. And uh, all of these. Both ways. Both ways. It's a sad situation, you know. Because I learned Bradshaw has two. It's not only one, she has another child. So she has two children. So she's a mother of two. She's a mother of two. And she wasn't thinking about our two children. She wasn't thinking about our two children. And it was also Mr. Falwell who put out the 500,000 reward for information. And Brad, and, and the death of it. The child and the mother. Oh my god, my, my girl and subscribe, I'm not even going to further with this video because sometimes I'm going to give it a break now and um, allow the family to heal because I know somebody must be watching in the family all these tips going around and you know all of us are in solidarity with the family so thank you again my viewers and my subscribers for keep coming back to this channel like with Jennifer JM. If you have not yet subscribed, I do appreciate your subscription. You know why to hit that notification bell. Like, share, leave a comment because the conversation continues, you know. I love to hear from you. I'll catch you again in another video. Bye.